take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with fluoride shield. I use fluoride shield every day. Secure your fluoride shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the Info War at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. It makes you realize that if there's even one thing we can do to keep our children and our communities safe, there's just one step we can take to prevent more families from feeling what they feel uh, after they've lost a loved one. In 2012, there were more blacks aborted in New York City than born. Which is to say, while people will march up and down the streets for high-profile slayings, many of those same people don't seem to care that the biggest scourge to their communities isn't gangs or drugs, but the right to choose. Equally chilling is that over 50% of aborted babies in Georgia are black. One of the most visible processors of abortion is Planned Parenthood, which was once known as the Birth Control League, a Margaret Sanger organization. Eugenics movement was once again used by the American Birth Control League. The Margaret Sangers of those days did not come out and say they were trying to eliminate black people. What they did say, they were trying to rid society of the feeble-minded. They were trying to rid the society of the criminal. Well, she was successful simply because of her eugenics friends for the past 50 years had uh, put those labels on minorities and African Americans and therefore society was more or less desensitized. In effect, the code words hid the agenda of Margaret Sanger and the eugenist. Whether you're pro-choice or not, please be aware that the reason Planned Parenthood buildings are so prevalent in minority neighborhoods is to kill minorities. Don't put it on the taxpayer. Don't put it on the taxpayer, okay? I don't wish to pay for the babies with my money. Okay? You get it? You would rather profit off of those? No, no, no. I'm not profiting. I, as a taxpayer, do not wish to pay for those babies to be born and brought up. And kill we those do. people in Colorado. Go ahead and pay for we that. Do. Let me see you adopt one of those yes, ugly yeah, black well, babies. Do. In Mississippi, 72% of aborted babies are black. The numbers also show that more than a few white children are regularly aborted. It's a shame when anyone is murdered, even when the murderer happens to be your own mother. Many women are led to believe that their child isn't a person until it's actually born. When do you think life starts? Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's controversial. I don't know that it's really relevant to relevant to the to the conversation. But I mean, okay. for me, I'm a mother of three children. Um, mm -hmm. For me, life began when I delivered them. Many naysayers will tell you that the majority of Planned Parenthood's operation doesn't involve abortion. Well, can we get rid of the percent that does involve abortion? The work of Sanger is still alive and well today, with the likes of Mrs. Clinton singing her praises. I admire Thomas Jefferson. I admire his words and his leadership, and I deplore his unrepentant slaveholding. I admire Margaret Sanger being a pioneer in trying to empower women to have some control over their bodies, and I deplore statements that you have referenced. That is the way we often are when we look at flawed human beings. There are things that we admire and things we deplore. I rarely agree with Mrs. Clinton on anything, but she's right to point out that President Jefferson also treated blacks in a less than human fashion. He should also be known for the 1807 Act prohibiting importation of slaves. Yes, Jefferson was a slaveholder, but he included bold anti-slavery language in the original draft of the Declaration of Independence. That was removed. As president on March 2nd, 1807, Jefferson signed the act prohibiting importation of slaves. This act took effect in 1808 and was the earliest allowed under the Constitution. So the next time someone demands that you give up your rights to save just one child, 
remind them that their pro-choice stance has killed millions since Roe v. Wade. You can find more reports at Infowars.com. You have 43% of all abortions performed in this country performed on black babies. We're only 12% of the population. In the state of New York in 2008, more black babies were aborted than born. Now, it doesn't matter what your politics is on that again. Those numbers, though, are very troubling. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. The key is to be aware of this attack and to fight back against it. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Zach, this is Crystal Palace. Think no raiders declare DEFCON 3. Scramble all alert aircraft. I repeat, scramble all alert aircraft. The Whopper spends all its time thinking about World War III. Target selection complete. Time on target sequence complete. 22 Typhoon class submarines departing Petropavlovsk. Turning south out of North Cap, bearing 095 degrees. Radar reports two unknown tracks are penetrating the Alaskan air defense zone. From the front lines of the information war. Flush the bombers, get the subs in launch mode. We are at DEFCON 1. Are you prepared to destroy the enemy? You bet! Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. We'll keep control, but we'll keep it here at the top where it belongs. Three, two, one. Impact. Shall we play a game? How about global thermal nuclear war? Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. All units confirm weapons targeted and ready, awaiting launch codes. We are in a launch mode. Do you really believe that the enemy would attack without provocation? If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We're in. 
Russians are still denying everything, sir. We have a Soviet submarine launch detection. I wish I didn't know about any of this. I wish I was like everybody else. James Gunn, the only winning move is not to play. That's a flashback to the 80s in the movie War Games where the computer starts to launch a nuclear war on its own. And now we have in the last five years autonomous drones where the robots are making the decisions in the air. They just declassified that last year. That it had been going on for four years before that. We're now five years into it. The British, the French, the United States, all part of the NATO system now, uh, are already shifting from pilots controlling the drones who get Medals um, that are more prestigious than Purple Hearts, by the way, for their valor uh, in the uh, air-conditioned pods in the desert out in uh, places like Arizona. Then, of course, places in Maryland, they're at uh, CIA headquarters. It's absolutely ridiculous. And humans are being taken out of the equation. And when you see humans being taken out of the equation, you can uh, get total government control of information. And this whole missing flight with this Malaysian Airlines that we're now a week and a half into is a giant distraction from the situation that's continuing to escalate in Ukraine with Russia and the EU, with the U.S. in the middle of it. It is distracting from Obamacare being an absolute nightmare. And while all this is going on, I monitor television and I don't really watch mainline television, but I flip through it or I'm in restaurants, or I'm at the gym, and all I see, this morning I was at the gym, was Obama, they have like 10 TVs in there in front of the bikes and ellipticals and treadmills. And every time I'd look up, working out, I would see Obama on ESPN chatting it up, doing a comedy piece. Or then I would see Obama on some Comedy Central show, with a piece of it playing on the news. And then it would be Michelle Obama. And then it would be Hillary. And it was just all positive news. And see, they've lost control of the newspapers. They've lost control of the online news. The mainline dinosaur television is dead. I mean, MSNBC, CNN is just a total facade. Literally almost no viewers. It's a complete hoax, fraud, joke. Everybody knows that. But... We need to focus more on the fact that about 80% of Americans don't even really watch news. That's on record. Some numbers are even higher, closer to 85%. They do watch the NFL. They do watch uh, NBA. They do watch baseball. They do watch sitcoms. They do watch Comedy Central. They do watch all the, quote, entertainment. And it is just loaded with state propaganda and garbage. And, and it's been loaded for a long time since the Cold War. That was kind of the excuse to have anti-communist propaganda in there. But that set the precedent now to where it's communist propaganda and globalist propaganda. And it goes on and on and on. Movie stars, rock stars, hip-hop stars, uh, you know, Justin Bieber, LeBron James, all these low-grade morons up there pushing Obamacare. I, I, Ladies and gentlemen, I try to watch any cop drama, any sitcom, anything. It is anti-male, anti-family, gay agenda. And again, I'm not even against anybody, but my Lord, you turn on the TV, gay, 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 gay. I mean, I'm sick of it, man. I mean, I like what Marilyn Monroe looks like, but I don't go watch her movies. They're, most of them are pretty stupid. Some like it hot's funny. But, I mean, I'm not going to watch a marathon on, on Turner Classic Movies of Marilyn Monroe. I sure don't want to watch a marathon of people making jokes against heterosexuals and talking about how great gay people are today. Folks, it's becoming a cult trying to dominate society, just like every other group becomes a cult throughout history. Before the Roman Empire collapsed, they had gay cults basically running it. And, I mean, it's just a major sign in Camille Paglia who's a lesbian, has written about this, that when all this stuff starts up and gets to this point, you get ready for society to collapse. The whole Olympics weren't about ice skating or uh, downhill skiing or the ski jump 
It was all about gay, 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 gay. I mean, I can't let my children watch any mainline television. I can't take them to movies. I have to pre.